Hello and welcome back to Learn SBOM. Today I'll be reviewing the tool SBOM for Files. SBOM for Files generates software bill of materials for a directory in a number of formats, including SBDX and Cyclone DX. It identifies all the files within a directory and it includes license and copyright information for each file. It recommends a 3.7 or higher version of Python, so make sure you check that. Today we have 3.10.6 so it should work. To install all you have to do is do pip install sbomb for files and I've already installed it so it will say that the requirements are already satisfied. To use it all you have to do is run the command sbomb for files dash h and it will show you all the arguments required. Now we're going to generate a sample sbomb. To do so, we're just going to run sbomb files. The first argument it takes in is the directory, which is a directory that is to be scanned. If the directory is not specified, the current directory is assumed. So we'll just do dash d files and if you specify the recurse option it will result in the files in the subdirectories being included in the generation of the sbomb so we're going to run that as well the project option is used to specify the name of a project to be referenced in the generated sbomb. So we're gonna just do dash p, let's call it sbomb for files. Or we could just give it like sbomb name. So here we're just gonna specify the sbomb format. We'll just do cyclone dx. And for the file format, we can just do JSON. And to specify the output, we can just do sbomb.json. So all that's left is just to check that the sbomb is made. And make sure that includes, you know, some copyright information, some license information. We'll see. There you go. And overall this tool was quick and easy to set up. It was simple to understand and use. Um, the GitHub page will be linked in the description. It's very simple and brief. Give it a quick read. This tool does not specify what language um, SBOMS is tailored for, but I assumed it will just um, iterate through each file and look for the license and copyright information. But since it's not tailored towards a specific, you know, program language, it might miss some information that a tailored SBOM generator would uh, have not missed. So I recommend you use a different SBOM generator, but this one works very well if you just want a simple one if you're coding in multiple languages. Thank you for checking out this video. If you really liked it, be sure to check out our other videos right here. And then you can also subscribe right up top here. And again, thank you. Bye-bye.